Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the IQ God. Listen up, bro. I've spent hours looking for this build, okay? Hours looking for this build. I have found the easiest, most overpowered build in NBA 2K21. It will literally take the least skill. I personally believe it does not even deserve to be in the game. So first, listen, listen very closely. Y'all are going to want to watch this full video. I'm going to give you so much information that no one else knows, okay? So much information. So don't skip around. I know that y'all do that and build videos. But listen, I'm going to give y'all so much information, bro. So much information. Don't skip. Okay, so look. Y'all know last year, the easiest, most toxic overpowered position that was running comp stage 2v2s all that other stuff y'all know it was the paint beast correct right easiest build to use even easier than locks to use overpowered alley-oops contact dunks all that right 30 defensive man easiest build to use right inside center 99 rebound and fast as hell it's a pure lock just a god right in this game it still exists and it's more overpowered but it's not at the power forward position right so listen listen i'm, I'm gonna show y'all the build hold on hold on hold on hey but before we get in more into it make sure y'all subscribe if you new. 300k on the way help a young nigga grow i'm gonna be helping y'all with all the best badges builds jump shots dribble moves dropping off all the goats rage tigers so make sure you sub Hit that goddamn like button and turn on post notices, man. Because I, I done found the best play lock, best perimeter lock, best overall lock, best so many other builds. And I'm going to post those day by day. So make sure you have your notes on, my boy. Support your boy. I am a genius, my boy. Wave start and swan. But look, so listen, I'm going to be making a paint beast, right? This, I'm personally not making this build. It's not my style, but I'm just helping all y'all bots out. You know, y'all bots out. Y'all be making inside center and stuff like that. So look, the only way you would make this build is a point guard and a shooting guard. Okay, here's why. Shooting guard gets better attributes than the small forward, than the power forward, and then the center, right? And it gets just as high interior so there's no point the only difference between the shooting guard and and the other builds is the shooting guard gets more playmaking like nine and stuff and then the other builds just get a little bit more finishing and like no playmaking shooting nothing right so now it becomes a conversation between you can test it out yourself it's the pure red pie i, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you now the conversation comes between the pg and the shooting guard for the paint beast right anywho the only difference between pg and shooting guard is the shooting guard gets 33 more attributes higher interior higher block etc pg gets one more finishing but the big difference the big difference okay the big difference is the pg gets floor general and dimer so y'all know as an inside center that's toxic everything else is virtually the same virtually the same just the pg gets one more finishing a little bit lower attributes you know so it's up to you if you want dimer and floor general then you got to make them a pg now i'm gonna show you how to make them if i if i was y'all I, I i think i think the pg is more more vital but do not make a small forward power forward or center for the the best inside build okay i'm gonna show y'all this build and yeah, so you know, you know, we gonna go, uh, we gonna go number eight for Kobe. You feel me? So look, so you gonna go with the pure red pie, right? Now look, look, you can make him a shooting guard, right? But you're not gonna get floor general and dimer. That that's very vital for, you know, you can help your guards out a lot. Now personally, you could go pure speed. 
I wanted to do that, but man, you already gonna be super fast as an inside big with this build. So I personally will pick the vertical pie chart, way better dunks, alley-oops, defense, all that, blocks, all that. Or if you're more worried about strength, you think strength matters, then you could pick this pie chart, you know, the, the, the more balanced one. But me personally, I don't think strength has mattered in any 2K, bro, at all. So, I mean, if you think it does matter, you could pick this pie chart. I personally say the vertical pie chart is better than the speed pie chart because you're already going to be super fast. High vertical is going to help with your defense, your dunks, etc. Man, So this is how you would build the PG and the shooting guard, correct? So it's, it's just up to y'all. It's up to y'all, my boy. And this is like game breaking why is pg and shooting this just shows you like the game like it's it's weird bro it's it's weird why would a shooting guard be the best inside center position like y'all can look at the stats yourself it's weird i don't know if i'm mind fucking myself but that i've spent hours looking at this bro and it's literally the shooting guard position it's so weird there there's hella weird shit it's like what are y'all niggas doing but anywho you're going to make it like this, man. You're going to have contact dunks, high-ass layup, high close shot. You're going to be standing dunking. You could post hook. You see, I built it a little different, you know. You could post hook. You're going to have a high ball handle. Well, all this stuff's finna go down once I upgrade them. Matter of fact, let me, let me just. You're going to make them burly, okay? All burly games going to help you with more better animations, defense, etc. You're going to make them burly. You're going to make him 6'8". Shout out to Damian Lillard down in the comments, my boy. Shout out to Damian Lillard, my boy. Because of you, this build could be made. <laughs> Floor General and Dimer, my boy. So look, you see all those defensive stats skyrocket. You know, he get, look, now look. Personally, again, again, again. If you care about weight and all that stuff, you can upgrade this. I don't think weight ever meant shit, bro. I know people say maybe weight matters for screens. I don't think it does. But if you on my way, my vibes, uh, the only mistake there will be in this build is if strength matters, right? So if it matters, then you know you could take the safe route, lower his speed a little bit, but nah. Th this is why these builds are so toxic. And they're they're people are basically running double locks in the stage, etc. and all that. This is basically a lock, bro. That all last year and stuff. 190 you're gonna have over a 90 speed you're gonna be able to switch like a god you don't have to worry about your center getting cooked anymore because these paint beasts exist so you're gonna make them 190 max wingspan now look at this right so if so y'all know it's plus four physicals going up um plus four all the attributes and if gym rat's still in the game i think it's plus five so basically this dude's gonna have a 91 speed bro a 91 speed and an 89 acceleration as an inside center with the with basically an offense and de defense a rebound that's damn near a 99 look at all those stats actually you're gonna build them like this in the beginning right with the post hook 66 and the standing dunk 44 bro the stats the same near exact same bro end up with this stats like this <laughs> Bro, this game is such like a, it's like a mind fuck. Like, why is a P, bro, basically, bro, if you have the same height and wingspan and stuff, you could just pick the higher position builds, bro. Like the same physicals, you're going to have the same stats as when you do it as any other position. This is so, bro, I, I don't, bro, this is like annoying. <laughs> but anywho, you got lock takeover. I mean, the only benefit of going power forward would be to have the glass badge and uh the rim badge i don't know how good those would be but you know you're gonna go lock takeover slasher takeover i would say lock because this is more you know just toxic shit and bam you a two-way finisher right toxic right so look i'm gonna show you I'm gonna show y'all the best badges right now. Damn, this game is weird. So look, playmaking. Now look, Dimer and Floor General. 
you can't you can't get these badges if you're anything under a PG, bro. So you're gonna want to make it a PG. That's crazy, right? So weird. So these are the badges I would pick. You get Dimer and Floor General. That's so toxic, bro. And you're a pure lock. 30 defensive badges. You got all them damn finishing badges. Like this this game take no damn skill, bro. I like like whatever, bro. <laughs> You know, I, I, I got to show y'all because, I mean, niggas is going to get hip eventually, bro. Niggas don't get off this shit. You know, John, you know. You know, you could rock something like this or something like this. Maybe deep hooks. But, you know, I would rock this. Who knows how good Pro Touch is. Um, Maybe put back boss. Uh, Maybe giant slit. And I, I don't know. I'd probably rock this or maybe this. You know, something like that. And yeah, bro, like these are the badges I would use, but I'm not making, I'm not making this nigga. And for your shooting badge, <laughs> um, slippery off ball and for your defensive badges, look how toxic this is, bro. You could rock something like this or like this or like this. Who knows if you need box, you could do something like this. You could do all types of stuff, but yeah, bro, this is hella, um, hella broken man y'all let me know if y'all seen a more broken build than this um the reason i say this shouldn't be in the game bro just like it's just too easy my nigga like bro just just think about it bro bro uh inside center shouldn't be able to have 30 defensive badges right they shouldn't be as fast as a lock they shouldn't be faster than guards an uh, inside center right and then you you Bro, it's, it's just annoying. Then you get Floor General and Dimer. Like, bro, it's broken. Then you get the same stats as every other position. What the hell is going on? Y'all let me know if I done found a glitch in the Matrix. Anywho, make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Hit that goddamn like button. If you're going to be making um a Paint Beast or, or this build in NBA 2K21, turn on post notice. And yeah, I'm out this hole, bro.